Hi and welcome to another tutorial by OSCandy.com. This tutorial is for UGM Ultimate Gallery Manager which is a new developed Joomla component by the team over at OSCandy. This component intends to provide a central location to manage your albums, your galleries, your pictures, your photos, your images, etc and then be able to feed them back to any of your third-party extensions which manage images and it has some additional functions to it which will allow any compatible third-party extension that can produce thumbnails, larger images, captions, titles etc. So it collaborates, merges and synchronizes all of these aspects of your images. At the same time it has been developed to be compatible with third-party applications which are external to Joomla. For example in this case we're going to give a demonstration of Picasa. Picasa is a free application downloadable and created by Google. It is available for PC and also available for Mac. It's a tool that allows editing, cropping, modification of any of your images and at the same time allows you to give titles to your images, captions to your images and creates thumbnails for your images also. UGM will be able to import those features and then feed them into your third party extensions and then producing that visual impact on the front end of your Joomla site. So if we go over to the back end of UGM which has a very simple interface you click on show help here you see a link that will redirect you through to Google and you can download Picasa for absolutely free of charge. Once you've downloaded to your desktop, you extract it and install it and you will be provided with a user interface. It will upload all of the images that are available within your um, operating system, be it a Mac or a PC, and make them accessible within this panel to modify. Here we have a collection of images which are under a title My Favorite Location. That's the name of the folder. Right? First and foremost we can change the name of this collection if we want to and this will be visible for all of our collections when we, once we've uploaded them to UGM. So you double click and you give it whatever name you want to. In this case, I've called them my favorite locations. You can take one singular image, just click on it, and this blue border frame will be created around it. Go to File, go to Rename, and we can give any name to any of the images. In this case, I've called this one Trip to the Forest. Click on another one, rename it, call it springtime, etc. Double clicking on any of the images brings it up and gives you all of these options. You can crop it, straighten it, red eye, auto contrast, tuning, fill the light, effects. So if you click on crop, highlight a certain area, click preview, gives us an image, a preview, reverse back to the way it was. Pretty cool. Straighten. If it was an image of a person, red eye, tuning, fill in some light, effects, make it black and white, 
tent As I mentioned, Picasso will allow you to create captions for those images. And those captions can be made visible on the front end of Joomla if you're using a third party extension which allows that feature. Um, part of this demo, we're going to show you the updated version of Smooth Gallery Mamba which allows you to display the captions. So, on here, I called it a photo taken on a trip to the Peak District. This will be exported out also. Go back to the library. Okay. If this image, as you can see, has been highlighted, if I right click, I can export it as an HTML page and export that as an individual image. If I want to export the entire images as part of my favorite locations folder, I just click on an empty space. Nothing is, none of the images have any borders on them. Right click, export as HTML page, give them any title. This is the title of what it will be on my desktop, not the actual name for the folder. I've just called it album one. Click next. Now it's very important that the template name is XML code and it's exported as an XML code template. Finish. As you can see, it's doing its stuff. Here on the desktop, we can see album one. All the images from album one. Thumbnails. and the XML document. You need to use whatever zip solution you have, WinZip, WinRAR, whatever, and zip it up. Go to the back end of Ultimate Gallery Manager. Browse the archive. Select the album. And upload. Here we can see that the album has been created. It's, big, it's got the title, my favorite location, as we gave it in here. Has specified an ID to it, which is important. Okay. Now these albums are stored in the default location for Joomla, which is images forward slash stories. Clicking on there gives us all the images with the file names with the captions here's the one we modified we're giving it a file name springtime the caption is springtime and here's the other one trip to the forest a photo taken on our trip click on it clicking on it gives our image okay now we want to make these visible on the front end so I'm going to go to front page manager. Here we have a call to action, smooth gallery, album two. That's the ID of the album as we saw earlier before. Now this is only available for any version of smooth gallery manbot 1.0.3 and above, which you can download for free again from oscandy.com. Click apply. Now I want to see what results we've got on the front end. And here we have Smooth Gallery Mambot displayed on the front end. We've got the thumbnails. We've got the title for the album, which is my favorite locations. All these available images. If we scroll through the images, my favorite locations. There's one of the ones that we called it Springtime. We didn't modify the captions, we didn't give a caption to it. However, here's the one that is in my favorite locations, but it also displays the captions. So if we click on the light box effect, we can see the caption is also displayed here. 
and obviously the title of the album. It's been another tutorial by OS.